Hey beautiful people. Actually, I feel like I look like I'm not wearing anything. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get the titties in the right place. Okay. That didn't do anything. <laughs> Jesus. Hey beautiful people. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. Hey beautiful people. What is up and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my little corner of the interwebs today. We're gonna be doing a new makeup releases video. I don't know if this is gonna go up on Sunday or on Monday, but we're, <laughs> we're gonna do one. And yes, I know, it's been about three weeks. It's my fault, I am sorry. <laughs> life has just been lifing, and I don't know what happened, but I got busy and I didn't get a chance to film new makeup releases, so I know we have a lot to catch up on. If this is your first time, welcome. Thanks for joining me on the channel. The way I like to approach these new makeup releases videos is I like to talk about it not only from the perspective of whether or not I'm interested and or planning to pick up certain products, but also to give a little bit of my sort of guesses, hypotheses, visions, not visions, but really my thoughts on whether or not these products will go on sale. Because here I don't believe in paying full price for makeup, so I like to share some of the best ways in which you can save money on high-end luxury and indie makeup. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the fam because it's always a vibe over here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and scooch to the right because we have a lot to cover, at least three weeks worth of makeup to cover, and y'all know these brands have not been slowing down. It's actually quite impressive how much stuff has been released. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so per usual, I'm using makeup on your radar, Jamie's page, to look at the new makeup releases. Um, make sure you go follow her on her Instagram page. All right, so you guys already know the Sephora VIB sale is happening right now. I have at least two videos up on it. One talking about why you shouldn't shop the sale and one talking about my wish list. So make sure you go and watch those if you are kind of like interested in hearing my thoughts in general. That's not what we're here for because that's already like up and running and moving. The first thing I see is Menagerie has a new blush. It's their Soft Matte, matte Arthurine. 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 I think that's right. <laughs> Blushes and it comes in four shades. Soft Peachy, Warm Terracotta, Cool Brown and Cool Mauve. 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 Definitely more of. Oh, this isn't bad. So it's available now. It's $15 a piece. I actually appreciate that this is a matte blush. I understand and respect that people like the luminous blushes, but honestly, y'all, that is barely my journey. And quite frankly, the Bare Minerals blunders are as far as it goes for me. I really do like a matte blush. I don't know why we got so far into this luminous trend where everything has to be luminous. I would love to see brands give us more matte products. Oily girl me and all my oily sisters please stand up because like Could we get some matte products too? I understand the need for the glow and the luminosity, but I I think some of us still appreciate and respect matte products, so I'm not mad at that and $15 is not bad at all. Not bad at all And considering that we have three weeks worth of products to talk about guys I am going to skip a lot. So just bear with me. Okay? So new, uh, Bare Minerals has a new complexion, what is this? Multitasker. New complexion rescue highlighting blush and bronzer. What? Wait. <laughs> so it's gonna be available on the Bare Minerals website tomorrow. So I don't know what's that, the 6th, 7th, 8th, one of those days. So there's a tinted moisturizer and two liquid wait no i'm so confused you guys so there's a highlighting blush and then a bronzer but everything here just looks glowy i don't i don't know what's going on it looks like there's a blush highlighter combo and then a blush bronzer combination okay i guess i like bare minerals for the most part um i'm curious about this i might want to go swatch it in store to see what it actually is because just reading it is just a little bit confusing if I'm being honest. We have a new palette from Dandelions Co. This is the Feeding Frenzy. It's $50, it's available now. Uh, it looks like this is primarily mattes. It's a green leaning palette. Honestly, this is a lot of green, some of which look very, very similar to each other. Like those last three greens, the deep ones on the top row, kinda all look the same. So this could have been a much smaller palette in my opinion, just saying. But I do enjoy green shadows, so it's pretty, I guess. Guerlain has a new lip oil. This is the Kiss Kiss Bee Glow Lip Oil. It's available now at Sephora. It's $40. Do 
Y'all, forty dollars for lip oil just sounds stupid. You could get a bottle, and I mean like a pretty decent jar of Vaseline at the dollar store for a dollar and twenty-five cents. You know, I'm just saying. I would not spend that for lip oil. Now, if you do want a decent lip oil, the Blend Bunny Cosmetics lip oils are actually amazing. I, funny enough, I'm wearing one now. I do have it on my desk. This is how much I have left, you guys. I use this like no other. I do have the other shades as well. It's amazing. It's amazing quality. I just don't believe any lip oil, and I mean any lip oil is worth $40. No ma'am, not at all. Okay, let's keep going. Makeup Toys Cosmetics, and this is a Trinidadian makeup artist. I believe she lives in the States. I believe she lives in Miami, maybe, but it, she's a Trini, and she does very, very intricate, beautiful looks, so she released a new palette. I think this is actually the first palette from her brand. So I should say she launched her brand and this is the first product, which is the, what's the name of this palette? Um, Festival of Colors eyeshadow palette. It retails for $41.95. It's available now, comes with 23 mattes and seven shimmers. And this is a rainbow palette, you guys. It looks exactly like the Blend Bunny Blends palette. So if you have it, I'm not saying that you need to go out and buy this because you, probably have all, you have all these shades in your Blend Bunny blends palette. That being said, I'm a Trini and every fiber in my being wants to buy this because I, one, love supporting black women, black creators, especially if you are a Trini black creator, it's hard for me to say no, man. And then looking at the shades, like this is honestly meant for carnival. So you have like chutney, roti, rum, mass, soca, all of the Calypso, all of these shade names are just home to me. So I'm very intrigued by this. I am going to hold out for right now because we are in the midst of the Sephora VIB sale. I have bought a couple of things. So spending wise, I need to take a pause. Quite frankly, probably after this video, I'll film a haul so you guys can see how much stuff I've been buying in the last couple of weeks. Cause your girl been shopping, which I need to not be doing anymore. <laughs> But yeah, so if you were interested, it's available now. Um, definitely go support if you can and if you are interested. L Lethal Cosmetics is still sneak peeking this avatar collection. Y'all, I am kind of sick and tired of this, of this launch already. And it hasn't even launched because what I've come to realize is that apparently they're doing a countdown. So it's like 10 weeks of these sneak peeks. That's two and a half months of you not even telling us what the actual products are. Nobody needs two months of sneak peeks. Nobody. I promise you nobody needs two months of sneak peeks. I wish brands would just maybe three, four days of sneak peeks a week, max tops. And then just give us the product. Like why? Who? Nobody wants all of that. It's making me mad because I absolutely love Avatar. And I think Lethal has an excellent formula. So I do think that whatever they put out is going to be amazing. But the fact that they've been sneak peeking it like this. And honestly not even really sneak peeking it. Because all they've been showing us are the symbols. Like the symbols of what fire is. What earth is. That's nothing. You're, you're giving us nothing. It was fine the first two because it was like, is it Avatar? Is it not Avatar? But we know it's Avatar. So just tell us what it is now. Is it a palette? Is it lips? Is it blush? Like, it, what is it? <sighs> okay, I'm getting spicy. Let me mind my business and move along. Okay, let's talk about this release because I think this shook the internet for a little bit. But uh, Forever Mood, aka Jackie Aina's brand, She's launched fragrances and I am intrigued. I'm actually quite curious because at first we thought it was one fragrance, but no, no, no. Jackie gave us four fragrances. Just so you guys know, I did buy the Discovery set, which is basically four samples of the fragrances. It's $24. I believe it's sold out now, but $24 and you get four basically samples of the fragrance. So when that does come in, I will give you guys like a full sort of scent review test if you want to call it that. I love fragrances, but I also fully recognize that my fragrance palette might not be the most common. Like I don't like fruity fragrances. I don't like anything that smells like food, except for vanilla and even then select vanillas. I don't want to smell edible. I want to smell sultry. I want to smell a little bit of musk. I want to smell <laughs> almost slightly masculine. So like, <laughs> I recognize that that may not be the typical scent a lot of women are going for. So 
if that is your scent profile, if you prefer something that's a little bit more sultry, a little bit more musky, a little bit more, in some ways, ambiguous, where it leans a little bit more masculine, that's how I will be approaching these fragrances. But I don't want to smell like food. Just, that's where I stand on that. So, there are four fragrances, like I said, I Am Her, Hard To Get, NDA, and You Remind Me. I Am Her is described as a rich, faceted gourmand that layers decadent notes of red velvet, red velvet, pear, and raspberry. Hard To Get is a bright, luminous blend of energizing citron zest, sheer jasmine, and whipped vanilla. That might be the one I actually like the least because it sounds fruity and foody. NDA is a sensual fragrance with bold notes of spiced rum, tobacco flower, and vanilla bean. This is what I'm most interested in smelling. That spiced rum tobacco mix might make it feel a little bit more like masculine and less like fruity. So I'm actually very interested in that one. And then lastly, you remind me is a blend of soft apricot skin, orange flower, and sensual musks. That one is another one that I might be super interested in. The first two, they sound very food related, so eh, but you know, it is what it is. I'm excited, I can't wait for it to come in. If it does come back in stock, I definitely recommend you guys picking it up if you are rouge, so you can get that 20% off on top of it. Viziat has a new palette. This is the R Riveris, Riveris, something to that effect, Atondu palette. It's $45. This looks like every other Viseart palette that's ever been released. I am, I can't tell you how this is any different, seriously. And quite frankly, Viseart does have pretty decent sales from time to time, like six, sorry, 30, 40% off. So I would hold off until like they have a sale before picking this up, just saying. So Alter Ego has a new palette. This is Wildwood. I'm gonna assume that this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona. What's that green leaning one called? It's not retro, is it retro glam? Ooh, what's, hold on, let me figure out what the name of that one is called. Yucca, sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Yucca palette. It looks really pretty and I like the layout of the mattes and the shimmers with all the shimmers on top and the mattes at the bottom, really. This looks beautiful and I love the outer packaging for it. It's stunning. I already have the Yucca palette so I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase this, but if you were interested in Natasha Denona, and you did not want to pay Natasha's prices, Alter Ewa's palettes are typically around $20, so this is actually a good way for you to probably try the color story, see if you like it, and honestly, it might be that you like the formula as well and you are not interested in Natasha's version. Just saying. And we have a new collection from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is, what is this collection called? The Spring Magic Collection, I guess. So there is an 18 pan eyeshadow palette that retails for $72. A six pan blush for $32, highlighters, two highlighters for $15 a piece, a lip gloss for $14, and if you wanted to get the bundle, it's $138. I guess that's not bad bundle wise. I just am not interested in these $70 palettes, you guys, and I just, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> Tired of these very expensive palettes. Now granted, these this is on par with how they price their other palettes to my knowledge. So most of their palettes are in the $70 range anyways, but you get more shades in this one. But it also looks like most of these shades are standard metallics, so not multi-chromes or anything special. So something to consider. I I don't know how I feel about this overall. Do I like this color story? Do I? I don't know. The blush palette, these swatches are beautiful, I'll say that, but this is also a very luminous blush. I've seen it featured on a couple of like creators who did the Creators and Friends events, and it looks shiny. It looks shiny. And I just talked about the fact that I'm not into luminosity, so this is not something that is like screaming to me, because I don't want to be that glowy, y'all. The shades of these are amazeballs. Like, if they came out with a matte version of this blush palette, I would immediately eat this up, but... I don't want this luminosity. That's just, that's where I'm at with this. Speaking of a new release that um, kind of came out of the Creators and Friends event, Sigma Beauty has a new cool neutrals palette. This looks amazing. And I love the Sigma color stories because they tend to lean a little bit more neutral, a little bit more wearable, everyday friendly. But I don't think I like the Sigma formula. I decluttered all of my Sigma palettes, you guys. Every single one. And something in me still wants to buy this, even though I know I'm not obsessed with the formula. It's so pretty. 
I wonder if they've changed or improved their formula. If they have, I would be willing, but I, as of right now, I need to keep reminding myself that I don't like the formula. This is gonna be available, what's this, May? May 2nd? January, February, March, May, yeah, May 2nd. Um, and I don't see a price right now, but I believe their palettes are typically like $49 because they're just standard mattes and metallics, which I kind of appreciate. Like, I love a good multi-chrome, but honestly, what do people have against regular shimmers? <laughs> Like a good basic standard shimmer. Like, are we not doing that anymore? Anyways, let's move along. So I've talked about this at nauseum, but apparently there is a new formulation of the Micro Smooth Powder from Sephora. This is the Sephora Collection brand. The price has remained the same, so it's still $20, but the formula has changed. Part of me is curious enough that I might want to buy one of these because I did pick up two of the old formulation. And I kind of want to see what the difference is. Like, what is the difference? You know what I mean? So I kind of want to buy it to try it to see if it's any different. If it's not, I would return it because the two that I picked up, that's in the old formula, these were um, $4 <laughs> because they were discounted from 20 to seven. Then I got 30% off for the Sephora VIP sale, which made it $4. If I buy the new formulation, that's $20. I'd get 30% off of that what, what does that put that at? $14 maybe? So yeah, I'm curious. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe I'll get one to try. Moving along though, because this is a big release. Serena Williams gave us a whole makeup brand. Did y'all know Serena was coming out with a makeup brand? I feel like I missed something and then <laughs> JB messaged me and she was like, did you see Serena's brand? I'm like, Serena who? <laughs> And it's like Serena Williams is a whole makeup brand, you guys. I definitely did not know that this was coming. And when she said that she had released the brand, I thought it was like, okay, she's giving us two or three products to start as brands typically do. No, y'all, we got a whole line. And a line with range at that. So like, let's just kind of get into it. So first up, there are matte lipsticks. Each lipstick is $20 a piece and there are 10 shades. $20, quite frankly, is affordable considering that you guys know I've been talking about the fact that most lipsticks nowadays are 30 plus. So $20 compared to a lot of what else is on the market is pretty affordable. Oh, and by the way, the brand is called Win Beauty, W-Y-N. I don't know if that references something, that she's a winner, she's the goat, maybe. Um, but yeah, so that those are the lipsticks. There is a lip and cheek color. So I'm guessing it's a liquid product. That is $21 a piece and it comes in eight shades. They, it looks like there are bullet lipsticks, which are $20 a piece, 10 shades as well. There's a tubing mascara for 19, a lip serum for 18, three shades of a brow pencil for 19, a liquid eyeliner for 21, a concealer that comes in 20 shades for $25. Also not bad because concealers can go real pricey these days. A eye pencil for 19 and a skin tint, a hydrating skin enhancing tint with SPF 30 for $29 that comes in 36 shades, which not bad you guys. And when you look at the shade range of the skin tint, y'all, I was like, thank you God. <laughs> It, it, give, it was giving range. So this is all available now at the Ulta website. I wanna know from you guys, would you be interested in me trying these products? I do believe I still have a 20% off coupon. Actually, I might just, I think it expires today. So part of me really, really wants to try this because it's an affordable leaning brand. I'm not saying by any means it's considered drugstore, but it puts it in that like rare beauty LYS range in terms of pricing, where it's not exactly drugstore, but it's not high end either. So the fact that it is so affordable is making me very, very curious. And it's a black owned brand. Like I will never sit here and be like sad about black women starting their brands. <laughs> I get it. The market is extremely oversaturated, but I don't care. Any black woman that wants to come out and start a beauty brand, I will be there with a little pom-pom going like, yes, sis, get it. So <laughs> that's where I'm at. 
I'm not sure if this is available in stores and parts of me is curious enough that if it is, I might drive to the Ulta Nami just to check it out. All right, but that's it. I'm very excited. Congratulations, Serena. Fingers crossed that that turns out to be a phenomenal, phenomenal brand for who? And for us too, you know? So Ensley Rain, Cosme Rain Cosmetics is restocking two of their old palettes, Flower Moon and Strawberry Moon. Now, there are a couple of changes to these palettes in that one, they now both have a magnetic base. So I'm, I think what they've done is they've sort of shifted the packaging so it aligns with the standard packaging that exists, exists now. And apparently they've updated shades. So they say that we've listened to your feedback, expect unique distinct shades in each palette, eliminating any color overlaps. What's the price of these? I can't remember what these two are priced at. So I believe they're in the $69, $72 range. You guys already know, Ansley Rain is not cheap. And you guys probably, if you haven't, I'll be sure to link it down below. I did finally review the Ansley Rain, the Ansley Rain Groovy Garden palette. My feelings might surprise you. <laughs> I had a lot of thoughts. I definitely recommend that you guys check out that video um, because I am actually considering the Flower Moon palette. It is still in that neutral leaning vein and you guys know how I feel about a good spicy neutral. So part of me is curious and intrigued enough to want to pick this up. But like I said, it is a Sephora BAB sale. I've bought a couple of things so I might wanna hold out. The only thing that's making me pause is the fact that their restock times are not exactly the quickest. This is probably the shortest pre-order. So apparently it's a two, three week pre-order. I hate that to begin with. I don't like pre-orders, just start there. Um, but if I don't pick it up now, it might be months before I can get it again. Maybe. So what's a, let me know. Are you guys interested in seeing Flower Moon? Strawberry Moon might just be a little bit too colorful for me right now, but Flower Moon, that one, that one, I'm like, hmm, maybe I wonder. I'm also curious because it does have some greens in there and I do wonder if those greens are duplicative of the greens in Groovy Garden because something tells me that there are some duplicates. Let me know if I should take one for the team here, you guys, because I I might I might be willing to, you know? Oh, this is exciting. We have a shade extension from LYS Beauty on their cream bronze and contour stick. So there's two new shades, Hope and Honest. Hope is a neutral undertone for which are for fair skin tones, and then Honest is a warm undertone for medium to tan skin tones. I love that. Good job. You know, I have one of these in my basket, a shame that I've been meaning to test out. I just haven't gotten to it yet. And this is just $20. Going back to that sort of bracket of where it's like not exactly drugstore, but it's not high end. I love the LYS pricing. It's so beautiful, you guys. So, so amazing. $20 and now they have, what's that bring it to? Three, six, seven, seven bronzer shades. So not bad. So we have a new foundation from Tom Ford. This is the Soft Matte Blurring Foundation. This is priced at $150. From what I understand, this is meant to replace their Soft Matte Liquid Foundation, which is currently on sale for 50% off at Sephora and I think everywhere else, because I think that this is meant to be the replacement for that. I'm curious, but you guys already know when it comes to Tom Ford, I don't purchase it unless it goes to the cosmetics company. So I'm pretty sure this will end up there at some point, probably relatively soon. So you, if you're, if you're willing to wait, you'd be able to get this for 50% off at the CCO. And considering that this foundation is $150, I mean, I would wait, just saying, just, but that's just me. <laughs> we have a kind of new release, but not really, <laughs> um, from Huda Beauty. So the Easy Bake, powder, which I know a lot of folks love. I did end up picking up one of those in the Sephora sale in a mini, but that's not what I what we're here for. Th that Easy Bake powder now comes fragrance free. I know a lot of folks have said that the fragrance was intense. So, it, and if you are someone with sensitive skin, it might be helpful to have um, the fragrance free option. So that is, it should be available now, I believe. Okay, so One Size Beauty has a collab with Wicked. I... I don't like this and I don't know if it's like because I don't like the packaging it just looks a little cheap to me if I'm being very honest which I don't know how else to be everything in this collection just looked a little cheap and I was not a fan although that brush looks kind of cool the fact that they turned it into a little bit of a broomstick looks kind of cool but the two-toned edge I don't know 
the palette, not feeling it. I get the whole green and pink side thing, but I'm just not, I, it just doesn't, it's not working for me. Not at all. So yeah. The highlighter, let's get into the pricing though. The highlighter is $34, the palette is $49, the setting spray is $34, and the brush is $32. I mean, if you like Wicked, I guess. Is this the first time they've done eyeshadow? Wait, no, they did have a palette. They had a palette, and I remember I decluttered that almost immediately because it was not good. So I wonder if this eyeshadow formula has improved. Not enough for me to buy it though, just wondering out loud. Okay, probably the most exciting release for me and the only thing that I'm probably saying 100% yes to, and this is the new by Rado Mineral Scapes collection. Now I'm not gonna get the entire collection, but the eyeshadow palette, there's a 99% chance that I will pick that up. So the if you don't know by Rado, every year, once a year they release one large eyeshadow palette. It's actually kind of similar to the Pat McGrath Motherships where there's just one big palette a year. This is their one big palette for the year. Um, I do have the two previous palettes from last year and the year before that and I absolutely love it. And I wanna say that these palettes typically end up being great value because when you look at Byredo's standard eyeshadow palettes which are six bands, the cost per shadow is significantly larger there than it is with this big palette. Now, from what I can tell, based on the Byredo website, this palette will retail for $115. Last year's palette was, I believe, $105. So that's a $10 increase in the price. I've seen it come to, I believe, Bloomingdale's or Bergdorf's, one of those major retailers. And you can use like a 15% welcome coupon to get like some money off. So something to consider. Now, as of right now, it has been available only on Liberty London, but I see that Cult Beauty will eventually have it and Byredo will eventually have it on their site as well. I have not seen it on, like previewed on like the Bergdorf's, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom's yet, but there may be a chance that it comes there as well. As soon as it's at a US retailer, I will pick it up. Um, so yeah, definitely be on the lookout for that. And if you were curious in seeing what it looks like sooner. My girl Cara did pick it up from Liberty London. So she does have a first impressions video up right now. So make sure you go and check out Beauty in the Frizz to see her thoughts on it. Now, in addition to the palette, there are eyebrow pencils. I think they're just, what, three shades? Five shades, five shades of an eyebrow pencil, as well as a liquid lipstick that's a part of the collection as well. What is that liquid thing? Oh, this is interesting. We have a new formulation of the MAC Studio Fix Foundation. This is kind of intriguing because this was my, this was the foundation back in the day, y'all. If you know, you know, MAC Studio Fix was that foundation. And especially if you had a deeper complexion, like people talk about Fenty all the time in terms of how they sort of broke the barrier of inclusivity and making sure that deeper complexions were included. But MAC was doing it for a minute now. And I'm positive that if you've been wearing makeup for years, you wore MAC. <laughs> Especially if you looked like me, deeper than me, or had any kind of melanin, you had a MAC foundation. Comment down below if I'm lying, because I promise you, most of us, if not all of us, wore MAC and probably wore this exact foundation. I'm intrigued. I kind of want to see what it, what it does. So it has a soft matte finish. Oh, look at, they said 71 colors. Do we need 71 colors? That might be a bit much. I understand inclusivity, but 71 seems like a lot. But that being said though, MAC, to my knowledge, is also one of those brands that is a makeup artist brand. So maybe it makes more sense considering that that's typically the um, their clientele, I should say. Yeah. And I love being a good matte foundation. 24 hour matte foundation plus oil control. One thing to keep in mind though, is that MAC is a Estee Lauder brand. So it is also sold at the cosmetics company store. So you should be able to get it there at a discount as well. So similar with like the Tom Ford foundation that I was telling you guys, wait till it comes to the CCO so you can get a good discount. Okay, I know we're getting to the limit of where I start to get tired and my throat already hates it, so let me see how much more I can do. Um, Rare Beauty, they have a new luminous powder blush. I did see these in store and I did swatch them in store. Let me just say, you guys, these are highlighters. I did a reel on it. I stand by it. Those are highlighters. 
Seriously, 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 seriously. They are so glowy. I was like, ain't no way, ain't no way. Now granted the formulation of these are superb. They have a soft, and I mean soft formulation. And it's not like super large glitter particles like some highlighters, but it is soft and like fine enough that it might not emphasize texture. And I'm saying might because y'all, they're glowy. So if you are really someone that struggles with texture, I would not recommend this. Personally, I'm not even gonna get this because when I swatched it, I was like, these are just colored highlighters and there's no way. Um, speaking of highlighters, Fenty Beauty has the Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighter. They're $40 a piece, available at Ulta. Oh, and they're limited edition. I think most of us are highlighted out. And quite frankly, highlighters are one of the products that I believe should come in significantly smaller packaging because I don't know anybody that has ever panned a highlighter. Let's start there, one. And two, they're just so big. <laughs> Like highlighters should be so much smaller because you never ever 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 finish them. I have a stupid amount of highlighters. You probably do too, so you may not want this. Um, so like I said, those that's gonna be forty dollars. And I don't think I said this about the rare beauty blushes, but they are twenty six dollars a piece. So price wise, not terrible, but you know, that's if you're in the market for a highlighter. Just saying. Okay, one, two, two last things. The Lisa Eldridge Skin Tint is available now. I think we talked about this. The last time we talked about it, it was being sneak peeked and we didn't know what the product was. We now know that it is a skin tint. It does retail for $49. I'm not sure how many shades this comes in. I have heard great things from uh, my friends that have bought this. They also do have more dry leaning skin. So I'm not sure that I'm interested in picking up skin tints. Like honestly, I don't get skin tints for the summertime because they seem like it's gonna be a glowy, greasy product. And as somebody that is already oily and greasy, I don't want oily, greasy, I want matte. So that's why I'm like not running to pick this up because I just don't need anything that's gonna be glowy or highlighty or overly hydrating as we get warmer and warmer. So something to to consider depending on your skin type but i will say all of my friends that have dry skin seem to love it and it does have a very very natural beautiful finish on them oh, i keep saying two more things but <laughs> seriously no two more things um isamaya has a new lipstick it's 88 dollars. it's in the same penis packaging except this time it's gold i think this is extremely tacky I think that this is a little tasteless. You can say whatever it is you want about it. If you like it, I love it. <laughs> your money, your choice. But this is not something that I would ever throw in my purse and take out publicly. I just don't see the point of this. I don't understand it. And yes, you could argue that makeup is already highly sexualized. I mean, Nas has an entire line of like orgasm products. But it's not like Nas said, hey, let's put a penis and a vajayjay on all our packaging and sell it. And I think that this is where I was like, okay, what was the point? And not to mention, taking aside the entire sort of packaging of it, this lipstick is $88. I mean, what in this lipstick makes it $88? Is the penis made of gold? Like, can I melt the packaging of the penis and turn it into like a pair of earrings? What, or are there gold flecks in the lipstick itself? Because to my knowledge, I don't even think the Hermes Lipsticks are $80 to $88. So what is what makes this an $88 lipstick? Seriously, asking for myself, asking for a friend, asking for us. Because I don't understand why it's so expensive. Now apparently it's vegan, cruelty-free, has three grams of product, and was made in Italy. Is three grams of product even enough? Hold on. Okay, I guess it's standard. I'm looking at my Lisa Eldridge lipstick this also is made in Italy and has 3.5 grams of product and this is what 30 something dollars so I just I don't understand it I absolutely hate it I think it's just just it's ghetto <laughs> it is it is argue with your mama don't come at me with that and then lastly I want to talk about the Luna Beauty I think this is the mushroom what's the name of this collection Moon Shroom Collection. I think that this is so beautiful. It is taking everything in me not to buy this. <laughs> I'm really trying to be thoughtful because I know I'm already spending a lot on the Sephora VIB sale and other things that's going on right now. But this is just so stunning. The palette, I absolutely want this palette. And I do believe that it's only about $49. 
I will wait for a sale though because I do know that Luna Beauty will oftentimes do 20% off and I could probably hold out until like the 4th of July sale um, so I could get 20% off then. Other than the palette, it looks like there are three liquid lip, I'm assuming these are lipsticks, but there's some kind of lip product. It might be lip gloss. And then there's a blush palette, which is a glowy blush palette. Or is that a highlighter? I can't tell if it's a highlight or a blush palette. Either way, I don't want anything other than, oh, it's a highlight palette. So the color, the eyeshadow palette's 48, the highlighter palette is 36, and then the lip, their lip glosses apparently, those are 17. All I want is the, the eyeshadow palette. And can I just say that even though I want to wait for a 20% off, $48 is absolutely amazing. You guys know what palettes are going for these days. So $48, superb. Okay, let me scooch back into the middle. Okay, so we are back and I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of, lot of beautiful products out there on the market, you guys. I'm very interested in multiple of them, but I am trying to practice a little bit of self-control, trying to really wait and see how I truly feel once the hype has died down and use the products that I have. Like I said in the video, I do want to film a haul because I have picked up a number of products over the last couple of weeks and as this like little pile in the corner here is growing, it's giving me a little bit of anxiety because I don't like just having makeup or products just sit. I buy them to use them. I don't buy them so that they just sit there and look pretty. Hell, I have nowhere to display this. I don't have enough room for that. So I really wanna start diving into those products. So before I start thinking about adding more to my collection, it's time for me to like pause, use what I have. If I'm not using it, declutter it, you know, all that fun jazz. Anyways, now it's time for me to hear from you guys. Let me know if there's anything that you guys saw in the new makeup releases that you're interested in. Have you already bought any of the products down the, um, below? Do you know of any special sales that we should all be waiting for? Leave all of that in the comments. If you don't know what to leave, as always, leave a nice orange heart. That also helps the channel. It also really helps with the engagement. As always, I appreciate you all so much more than you know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!